After Harvard Business reviewed data scientist as the sexiest job of 21st century, nowadays whenever I am talking with anyone, they want to become data scientist. There are so many online and in-person institutes that have spurred up and they all want to teach data science at an expensive price. And someone asked me this question, is data science a hype? So I will try to answer this question in two parts. First, if data scientist position itself is a hype or a bubble. And the second part is if data science as an industry is a hype or not. So the first part is, let's talk about data scientist job. Now let's say I have a business and I want to spend money on IT. Usually I will build a software application or mobile app to develop my IT infrastructure. And I might hire 10 software engineers for it, for doing BI and data analytics and visualization. I might hire maybe three or four uh, data analysts. But when I have to hire data scientists for doing some advanced data science, I would probably hire only one. So think about the ratio. For 10, 20 or maybe 50 software engineers, there will be only one data scientist. Same applies for data analyst. If there are let's say 10 data analyst, there is only one data scientist position. So number of data scientist positions are actually less. This is the reality. And it is going to be like that in next few years. You will not have millions and millions of data scientist jobs. You will have much more software engineering jobs. So if you are thinking of pursuing your career, career uh, keep this in mind. Now one other factor uh, you need to keep in mind is, while number of data scientist jobs are less, uh, the supply is also less. So let's say if I go to New York City today or Bangalore today, and I say, okay, uh, if I assemble all the software engineers in one group and all data scientists in one group, the data scientist group will be much smaller. There are so many software engineers in the world, but data scientist people are very, very less. So from that angle, since the supply is less, uh, if you're trying to pursue a career as a data scientist, it's not a bad idea. You can become a really good data scientist and still get a job. But I want to make sure that you don't uh, just flow in the hype. It's not that there will be millions and millions of data scientist jobs. I don't think that will be true in at least next few years. There will be many more software engineer jobs, many more data analyst jobs compared to data scientist. Now is data science as an industry a hype? Well, that is not a hype because the data volume has increased. The, the, the data that any business is generating has increased with the adoption of mobile apps, IoT devices, software applications in general, social media. So many factors are contributing to exponential growth in data. And by doing data analytics, you can make certain business decisions that can really help your business. So data science as an industry is not a hype, but data science industry has multiple roles. Whenever people talk about data science field in general, they always think about data scientists, but data scientist is not the only position that you have. Data analyst is a very important role that people miss out. And you don't need hardcore math, states, or programming skills for data analyst role. So, so many people who are coming from a different background, and if you don't want to go too crazy about mathematics, statistics, and programming, you can make a realistic decision and try to pursue data analyst career instead of going for data scientist. Because trust me, like since data scientist position itself is, a, is very hyped up, uh, your scope or your, your chance of getting a job as a data scientist is going to be less compared to data analyst or a software engineer. So before you decide to spend crazy amount of money on data science degrees or courses, uh, please keep these factors in mind. 
Now on my YouTube community post, uh, I think Abhino Singh asked this question, what is the fact about actual job vacancies in the field of, he asked about deep learning and machine learning. So Abhino, deep learning and machine learning job opportunities are not that high, trust me. And after uh, the COVID, you know, businesses are more worried about uh, their revenues and keeping their IT applications up. Data science is something which comes as a next step. First, you need to have a running business and you need to have your software application infrastructure in place. And once that generates enough data, after that you can do data science on top of it. So in the time of economic hardships, again, I don't think there will be so many deep learning or machine learning job opportunities. So this is the fact that I want to tell you, I teach machine learning on my channel, but I want to be very realistic guys. So do not rush into the hype. And, but the, the good, good part of this thing is data science as an industry is not, it has a liquidity future, you know, that is not a hype. So always think about data analyst position. That is probably more realistic goal that you can achieve because Data scientist, for data, becoming data scientist, you need, real, re, you need to be really good in math and statistics and programming. And, you know, while everyone can do this and anyone can learn anything, you have to look at your circum circumstances. Sometimes you are stuck in a job and you are getting maybe half an hour to learn new thing. That is not enough to learn all the skills needed for data scientist. So please be realistic don't don't uh, be you know don't get impressed by all these uh, news articles about you know how sexy the data scientist position is uh, and you know there are so many thousands of uh, thousands of deep learning and machine learning job opportunities I, I don't think that is true because many organizations when they do deep learning when they do let's say AI in general most of the time they are using some ready-made platform you know and then they are doing application integration so i have a friend who works in a communication industry and there what they do is um, you know there is this google dialogue flow uh, framework where you can do interactive chat conversation so they are just using that and they are just integrating that uh, with your with their other software applications that they have. So it's not like they have any programmer who is writing deep learning models. You know, so you have to keep this in mind that in, in industry, many times people will be using ready-made frameworks and they, there will be only less, very less circumstances where they will be actually doing machine learning. So keep these factors in mind and before you decide to spend so much money on your data science degree, uh, make sure you are making an informed decision. I hope this was helpful. If you have any further question, please post in a video comment below. Thank you.